What's the difference between a man who wants wealth and a, and a man who wants complete control over certain things? The man who wants wealth and fame and money, he's, he's interested in gold and diamond rings and watches and nice cars to show off to people his means of life, the things he's come to acquire. But a man who wants power is not interested in those things. The man who wants power, he's not interested in the gold and the diamond rings and the nice cars. Why is that? Let me use an example like Floyd Mayweather. He has money. We know he's money made. But then there are people who have so much wealth, they make guys like Floyd look like a joke. Those are the people who have power. They don't wear the jewelries. They don't wear the diamond rings. They don't want to show off to people their means of life. In fact, they are a secret. They form what we call secret societies because they don't want to be known. Which of these two people should you take seriously? The one who wants to be known, the one who wants fame and the diamond watches and rings and gold or the one who wants power. Now, let me give you a quick biblical um, example or analogy. Now, again, if you believe that the accounts in the Bible actually took place, you will recall that a third of the angels came down to the earth because they wanted the daughters of men. They saw that they were beautiful and fair. And so they materialized their bodies to be, to be like men and eventually sleep with the women on the earth. Nowhere in the Bible does it give any indication that the devil partook in those events. Now, why is that? Why did the devil not care about indulging in the pleasures of womankind? Because the devil wants power. His focus is on something else. We could almost say that the demons wanted wealth. They wanted women. Okay? They wanted the gold, the jewelry, the diamond rings. You see the example I'm making? They wanted the women. But the devil never partook in that. The devil doesn't want the women. He doesn't want the gold, the diamond rings. That's why he didn't materialize himself to be a man to, to sleep with the women. His focus is on absolute power and control. He's the one that you should take seriously, not the demons. He's the one that poses more of a threat, not the demons. Not the rich man who has gold who wants to show off. But the man who wants to form a secret society. That's the man who wants power. That's the one you should pay attention to. He's the one that poses a greater threat. So again, I ask you, what's the difference between a man who wants money and a man who wants power? And the one who wants power, he's going to acquire so much wealth that it, it, it makes people, again, like Floyd, look like a joke. Now, the devil is the ruler of this system of things. The Bible says that. In fact, the Bible, the Bible says that he is the God of of this wicked system of things. So the devil is a God by definition. He is a God. There are multiple gods. The Almighty even said, I myself say in the book of Psalms, he says, I myself say you are gods, sons of the most high. So they are gods by definition. So the devil rules the world. God has given him that authority. If the devil didn't have the kingdoms of the world in his hand, he couldn't have offered it to Christ when he was on the earth. When Christ was on the earth, the devil said, do one act of worship to me and I would give you the kingdoms of the world. If he did not have the authority to do that, Christ would have corrected him and said, it, the kingdoms of the world is not yours to give. He, he just said that only to God must you worship and render sacred service. So Christ knows the position of the devil. Now, what would make more sense for, for the devil to choose a multitude of individuals to acquire his goal of, of absolute power? 
or to choose a small secret group of people whom he could inspire and motivate and teach certain secrets to to acquire his goal of absolute power. The devil is not looking for the Floyd Mayweathers. He's not looking for the people who want gold and uh, um, diamond rings and nice cars to show off to women, obviously. The devil is not looking for those kind of people. He's looking for the people who want power, the ones who you don't hear about, the ones who make people like Floyd look like a joke in terms of money, the one who, at the snap of a finger, can crash the economical system like that. Those are the kind of people that the devil has under his inspiration.